Hello, so my name is Darren Ledger and I've never done a product review before primarily because I'm an incredibly discerning buyer usually, especially of footwear which means I normally watch lots and lots of reviews before I actually purchase anything like a trail running shoe but on this occasion uh, having to replace my Salewas which I've had for about 18 months and done about 1500 miles hiking and running in I struggle to find a replacement because like most people I haven't got the same amount of money in my pocket to spend anymore because of the rising cost of living. And because I live in Bansko, finding shoes is really difficult, so I had to buy something online. So I'd like to introduce you to what Salomon have cleverly named the Mad Cross. And you've got to admit, visually, aesthetically, it looks like a pretty aggressive piece of kit, doesn't it? And the description pretty much says that. It says this shoe is ready, it's made for mud, gravel, rocks. They advertise it as being sticky, great on any surface. This is how they describe this product, basically. So, for a moment, I'd like to take you somewhere else. I'm going to tell you how this shoe came into being and what I really think of it now that I've just trialled it. I want to tra teleport you, transport you, in your mind, to a bedroom in Japan and in that bedroom there's a guy sitting in front of a computer screen let's call him Tommy now Tommy's one of these guys that during the day he probably spends most of his time playing video games during the evenings Tommy's the kind of guy that wears crotchless panties dresses up in cosplay outfits as female anime characters and probably acts out some kind of sexual fetish but each to their own, it's not my thing, okay? So I'm not here to judge him for that. But we're observing this guy, you know, he's sat in front of his computer and he does actually design things. He designs his own cosplay outfits. And he's got one of these Fiverr accounts, you know, when you especially go online and you get people to do odd little jobs for you, like design websites and stuff like this. So he makes a little bit of money out of this. And then one day he's sat there on Fiverr and he gets a message to his profile. So I'm going to move away from Tommy for a moment. I'm going to take you to Salomon headquarters, to an office, and in that office of the head of product design. And he's a little bit behind schedule with kind of their summer product releases. So desperately he goes onto Fiverr and he finds a designer to design them an all-terrain cross running shoe. And the designer he finds is Tommy, our cosplay reenactor. And he agrees to give Tommy about $500 to design this. And the problem with this is that Tommy has never run anywhere except the fridge for more dumplings. The most energetic thing he does is in an evening when he's reenacting his sexual fantasies. This shoe is absolutely appalling on every single level. It's called the Mad Cross. I'm mad and I'm cross. I fucking know where to begin. There's no rigidity whatsoever in this. There's too much rebound in the heel. When you actually place your foot when you're running, there's so little structure in the shoe that your foot just slides in the direction. The grip, you'd have to be insane, not just mad, to run in this. If you hit any wet granite, you might as well be on fucking ice skates. This is the most appalling shoe I've ever purchased from Salomon and I've probably had about 15 shoes in the last 10 years. It's a disgrace. This is the closest thing I've ever seen to a walking legal suit. They've sold this fraudulently. The description, it, 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 I just don't even know where to begin. It's the most disgusting. Look at this, look. There is nothing to this shoe whatsoever. There isn't even a lace pocket. And the problem with that is, you see these outer nubs. When you're actually running, the interior ones, they catch the laces on the other foot. And when they're not catching the laces, they're actually striking your heel bone. This is the most disgusting thing I've ever, ever purchased from Salomon. You know, they say, a product does precisely what it says on the tin. This didn't even get in the tin. The only place this belongs is in the fucking bin.